Time for another rant, guys. Big surprise coming from me. And this time, I'm taking more jabs at the comic book community. This time, over comic book controversy. Now, comic book controversy is a fairly regular thing, you know. It's probably more regular than controversy happening on TV shows, movies, video games, and so on. And usually the controversy comes from stuff like editorial mandates, a writer being removed from a book he was writing because of those editorial mandates, uh, an artist not being able to finish his work. You know, there's, there's just tons of things that can easily go wrong in the process of creating a comic book. And these things do tend to happen. Sometimes it can be controversial covers like gratuitous tits and ass shots like DC, or it can be fucking borderline asinine renumbering in the case of Marvel recently. But you get my idea. You know, controversy, it does happen, and <clears throat> and a lot of times there are valid reasons for the controversy to happen. But th there's this one thing, this one fucking thing I cannot understand the behavior of comic book fans over. Um, here's an example. Now, there was a uh, if you're if you're following Wolverine these days, you're gonna know that he lost his healing factor and that he's becoming kind of more like a villain, and that's kind of like it's kind of like an that's it's kind of like a superior Spider-Man route with Wolverine, where he's just basically kind of lost it all and he's just said fuck it, he's kind of going over to the dark side, and uh, this is something that did happen, you know, with uh, Superior Spider-Man. And, you know, it has admittedly caused, you know, a fair bit of controversy with the fans. And yet, when I went to Bleeding Cool to see the top-selling comic books of the week, what the fuck do I see? I see Wolverine number one at number four. And then, and then, uh, continuously, every time Superior Spider-Man comes out, a book that has been completely bitched at and continues to just divide... The combo community, you know, some people really love it, like me. Others really despise it, like the Mount Vernon kid. And, you know, uh, a lot of guys at Marvel 2K14. And, and, and I still see this book fucking selling. It, it, it's easily in the top five every time it comes out. Every week, Spear Spider-Man comes out. I can bet you it's in at least the top five, if not continuously, the top three. And so, I don't understand what kind of fucking statement comic book fans want to make with this stuff. Because all I see is comic book fans bitching, complaining about Marvel bastardizing a character, or DC fucking up with the creator, and then they still keep on buying their shit. Like, DC and Marvel don't care about you. If you think they care about you, you're a fucking idiot. The big two, Image, all these companies, they don't give a shit about you. They want your money. They can, they may present themselves like they give a fuck about you, but they really, really honest to God, don't. All a company ever cares about is the bottom line. Now, sometimes, sure, a company can present itself more friendly, you know, more open, and maybe there are people working in the company that do care about the fans. But the company as a whole has one goal, and that is to make a profit. And all I see these days is people constantly, and I mean fucking constantly, making these 50 bazillion page character studies of how the new 52 bastardized Green Lantern or how Marvel is bastardizing Spider-Man and Wolverine. And all I see is it's all bark and no bite. And the bite should come from you saying, fuck you, I'm not going to be buying this. Because comic book fans constantly do this. They constantly bark and bark and bark and fucking bark all the fucking time. And then when it's time to bite, they just say, eh, I'm just going to... Ignore, ignore everything I just said. And this has happened constantly, constantly. Like they, like, oh, like with Superior Spider-Man, everyone, including my, me myself, threw a fucking hissy fit over it. And then when it came out, everybody bought it. Everybody. And then I still see people constantly bitching and complaining about that book, and yet they still go out and buy it. I cannot understand this stupid fucking mentality of 
going out and buying something you are clearly opposed. Every time a controversial book comes out, everyone throws a hissy fit over it, saying, oh, Marvel or DC killed this character, or oh my god, they did this, oh my god, they replaced this creator with this guy, and then what happens when it's time to not buy it and send a, the clearest possible message you can to the company that you are against what they're doing, what do comic book fans do? They go out of their way to fucking buy it. I'm going to reiterate in my previous statement. A company doesn't give a shit. They don't give a flying mother fucking shit about you or what you think about them. They don't care. They, ser honest to God, don't care. If you think Marvel Studios cares about the fans, it doesn't. Even if they alienated all their fans, that would cost them what? Five to ten million dollars at the box office at least. whoop de fucking who You have hundreds of millions of other people who are going to see that movie and it's going to make them like five hundred to a billion dollars at the least. So boo fucking who you couple million people who are against us. You don't matter. <clears throat> so I, I just don't understand this this mentality of comic book fans constantly like talking about how they're gonna start this whole revolution because Marvel or DC fucked up this character, they messed up that character, and then when it when when it comes, and when the time comes to act on your anger and not support the things they do, what do comic book fans do? They go out and buy it anyway, and then and then there are instances where they still keep buying it, and yet they still keep bitching about it and and there are there are also times where comic book fans bark also just doesn't you know come to fruition like they keep barking at dc to make um more animated films about other heroes but when it's but when it but when the time comes to actually buy these films and support them so that you can see more they just go out and pirate this shit they just say oh oh whoa this this is like a week out on uh, putlocker.com, I'm gonna go watch that putlocker, so they watch the movie, DC doesn't get a dime, and then when the new Green Lantern animated film doesn't do as well as it should have in order to get another film greenlit, everyone's like, oh, fuck you, DC, fuck you, Warner Brothers, fuck you for sucking Batman and, and Superman's balls all the time, fuck you. Um, another instance of this is Scott Pilgrim, everyone was like, every, all the fanboys were like, you know, fawning at the mouth over the film. But when it came down to help the film where it mattered most, and where it only matters, and that's at the box office, comic book fans were a no-show. Same thing with Pacific Rim. The fanboys of Kaiju and manga in the West, they were like fawning at the mouth over the film, but when it came down to actually help it when it needed the most help, and that's at the box office, they were again a no-show. Do, do, do you understand what I'm trying to say here? I'm just trying... This, I, like, I guess the point I want to make is comic fans are full of shit. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna put and I'm gonna put myself there because I was also one of the guys who got Superior Spider-Man number one um, when it came out out of morbid curiosity. I I I'm, I include myself in that group of scumbags as well. So uh, all this stuff I'm saying to potentially to you who's listening to this video, I'm also taking jabs at myself because I'm also guilty of doing this. Um, but I don't understand it like... All right, like I can maybe understand buying a controversial book just to see out of morbid curiosity, just to see how it's going to turn out. Is it going to be as bad as everyone thinks it is? Is it going to surprise you and be good? Like I can understand that for one issue, but then when I see people bitching and complaining about stuff like Superior Spider-Man and then they keep on buying it every month while they bitch and complain and write these 50-page articles about how Marvel is bastardizing their favorite superhero, I just don't get this. I don't get this. So basically, what I want to say is comic book fans are full of shit. They are all bark and absolutely no bite. And they think they're some big, important group of people who, who are valued by, their, by the company they favor. But you're really not. If you, if you think DC and Marvel, any of them, legitimately give a flying fuck about you. You, sir, are a complete idiot.
Now, sure, you could have an actor like Stephen Amell, who clearly cares about the fans, you know. He constantly takes fan questions, Q&As, and all that stuff, and you can actually see that this guy isn't just about the bottom line. He actually wants, you know, to be good, you know, with the fan base. And, you know, he is a very friendly, very open guy. You know, I follow him on Facebook and stuff, and I know this shit. Um, and there are people like that. I'm not saying they're all just out there for the bottom line, you know, and there are creators... Lots and lots of creators were just about the creative process. They're not really about the bottom line. Although that can also be argued because they're doing this for a paycheck. No one's going to write and draw a monthly comic book on the scale of what the big two do, you know, for free just because he loves doing it, you know. It's it's all about the bottom line is what I'm saying. And and when it comes to it, comic book fans they they always bitch and complain and they bark and they bark and they bark but when it comes down to either helping something or hurting something when it comes to the bottom line which is the most important part of any project they are an, they are either a no show or they show up at the wrong place you know they should do the opposite thing where instead of supporting a book like Superior Spider-Man that they are they are so vocally against why the fuck didn't they go out and support Scott Pilgrim more a, a film they hyped up the ass and then when it came down to for it to make a return in its box office, they were no-shows. Same thing, like I said, with the DC Animated Films. Wonder Woman movie comes out. No one fucking buys it. Then when DC announces we're not going to make any more Wonder Woman movies, it's like, fuck you, DC, fuck you, Warner Brothers. Do you understand the stupidity of these people? Do you understand what the hell I'm trying to say here? And I just don't understand this kind of behavior. Like, I don't understand the behavior of comic book fans in general. Like, these are just some of the most backwards-ass, hypocritical, fucking idiots I've ever met in my life. And now, before, before any of you take personal insult to that, um, I'm not saying you're all like that. Like, I know a fair bit of comic book fans who are actually logical and smart people who don't do this shit. Like, Movie Geek 17, Mount Vernon Kid. Hell, everyone I work at at DC Prime 2K14... And, and a lot of the guys I know here on YouTube, like Jake Back, George Jones, I know you guys. And I know you guys are smart and logical people. And so you guys are you guys are the minority of intelligent comic book fans I know. And, and you know, you know, guys like um, Blows Himself Up Dude, you know, the guys Geek Evolution, you know, these guys, you know, in general, some of the more high-profile comic book fans, you know, on YouTube and stuff, those are the few logical dudes in 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 a sea of fucking retards and i just don't understand this like i don't understand this stupid mentality of being all bark and really no bite i i don't understand how these people still think they're some big tough shit when if their company alienated them all they would still make a buckload of money and in the end Comic book fans don't matter is what I'm getting to you. Like, a company can alienate them and it wouldn't matter. Like, Warner Brothers, Marvel Studios, they could alienate all their respective fans and they would lose maybe four or five million at the box office tops. The rest, the mainstream, wouldn't care about the controversy and the mainstream would go watch the movie and if the movie was good and was marketed well, it would make money. So again, comic book fans don't matter. When it comes to the grander scheme of things... I don't matter, you don't matter, and the companies <clears throat> don't think you matter. They just like pretending and trying, they just like pretending to, uh, I worded it wrong. They just like making you think you matter when they, when in the back of their heads they keep telling themselves, fuck you, you don't matter.